What's the deal, baby? Y'all didn't know it is the big boss house, boss dog, K poke through the dope, hit the top of his box. We talking about that boy EJ L Spence Jr. today, bro. Man, let me tell you something. I keep telling y'all, buddy, focus. That boy locked in, man. I'm telling you, man, it's, it's the boy in shape already. And they ain't sign shit. Got Bud in shape too. Bud definitely in shape. I'm make a video about that. But that boy L locked in, bro. Even his China is in shape. They ready to go. They ready for this fight. And I've been telling y'all, man. L Spitz hearing the noise. He hearing all these motherfuckers. Saying all this shit about L. Spence was scared of Terrence Crawford and you know L. Spence is ducking him and L. Spence gonna get knocked out and L. Spence ain't done enough. Roy Jones Jr. said L. Spence ain't done enough at 147. He need to do more. I said, what the fuck is he, <laughs> bro? I ain't gonna lie. When Roy Jones Jr. said that. That's one of them where you just turn your face up and be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, literally, bro. This is how I know they ain't watching him. They not watching none of that boy fights. When he made that comment, I was like, it's obvious. He, don't, he, ain't, he ain't watching that boy fight. And I get it, though. Because L. Spence's style is not a, a style that typically us as African Americans will watch. You see what I'm saying? They like Bud style because Bud is flashy. Bud gon' you know what I'm saying? But L. Spence does a lot of things well. I keep telling you, I don't gotta break that shit down. Y'all know, y'all can go watch the, my old videos for that. All I'm telling you is he does a lot of shit well. He's the big fundamental. So, while Bud may do certain things great, he lacks in other areas. But his greatness in his other areas make up for his weaknesses in his other areas. But Errol does a lot of things well. In my opinion, Errol Spence is a more complete fighter than Terrence Bud Crawford. That's just that's just what it is. I feel like he's a more complete fighter. You know what I mean? Now that it doesn't take away from Terrence Crawford, that doesn't mean that Terrence Crawford isn't a great fighter. I just said I feel like Errol Spence is a more complete fighter. And L. Spence has shown that against top competition. He's not only beaten top competition. He whooped, let me say this, and I'm going to say it in my way. He whooped they ass. You don't understand this. He whooped they ass. He whooped Mikey. See, and this is the thing I, I, I don't like that y'all try to use to discredit him. Okay? We don't do this with uh, Terrence Crawford. Okay? With Mikey Garcia. Oh, he, he fought a smaller Mike Garcia and he didn't stop him. What was they saying before they fight? Mikey Garcia is a better boxer. Mike Garcia, Errol Spence is just a rock and soccer fighter. And he just come forward and throw punches, no defense, no skill, no tactics, no nothing. He's just a come forward fighter. And then oh, Mikey was the sole. So, so superior boxer, right? And the reason why they were saying that because Mikey Garcia went on a little run when he came back from, you know, him, uh, you know, his legal issues or whatever. He went on a little run where he was knocking some names off, Slatishin and Lippiness. Lippiness was undefeated uh, when uh, Mikey fought him. Slatishin and Lippiness, uh, Robert Easter, Boner, like he was, he was fucking people up. Then he said, you know what? I want Errol. That's what I was like. Hell, nah, bro. And Errol Spence beat the papusas out that motherfucking boy. You know what I'm saying? To the point where Mikey Garcia, where's he at right now? He's retired because he said it was the Errol Spence fight that had lasting effects on his body. Come on, man. Come on, man. We don't know how Ugas, look, after dudes fight Errol, we don't know how they gonna react. We don't know how they gonna come back. 
they take long layoffs after they fight Earl Spence. Right? But Terrence Crawford fought New York against Gamboa, who wasn't a, a pure 135-pounder when Terrence Crawford fought him. I'm not trying to hear that shit. He wasn't a pure 135 And Terrence Crawford was bigger than New York's Gamboa. Right? Earl was bigger than Mikey. You tell me what's the more dangerous fight. And El Spitz handled the smaller man better than Terrence Crawford handled the Yorkers get more. That's all I'm saying, bro. That's all I'm saying. Yorkers get more was fast, but he didn't move his head. He didn't keep, well, I take that back. He did move his head, but he didn't keep his, he was, he didn't keep his hands up. His hands were always down. He left his ass open to get hit. He had fast hands, but he was flashy. He punched you and putting his hands down. Why? Like, you can't do that against fighter, another great fighter. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that against another great fighter like Bud Crawford. And that's what happened. Bud baptized his ass. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no other way to put it. But nobody ridicules Bud Crawford for fighting the Yorkers Gamboa. I believe Yorkers Gamboa was coming up to fight Terrence Crawford. I ain't mistaken. Or well, he ain't been at that weight that long. But at the end of the day, fuck it. Mikey Garcia went up one weight class. See, people want to try to say, oh, Mike Garcia was a 135 pounder. That motherfucker fought at 140. He fought Brona at a catch weight over 140. Go look it up. I don't think Broner fought Mikey at 140. I think they met and fought at a catch weight over 140. May have been like 144 or some shit. Go look it up. All I'm saying is at the end of the day, he even if they did fight at 140, that's where Mikey was coming from. 140. He moved up seven pounds to fight there. But I do believe he fought Broner at a catch weight. Because I think originally it was for 140, but then Broner was like he couldn't make the weight or some shit. So they did a catch weight. That's what I believe it. Y'all double check and let me know. I'm driving. All I'm saying is at the end of the day, you can't discredit this man. You know what I'm saying? For fighting a pound for pound fighter. Mikey Garcia at the time was viewed as a, he was on the pound for pound list. He was viewed as that type of fighter. Because of he. Just like y'all try to use Terrence Crawford, pass weight classes to give him credit. Mike Garcia, same thing. 130. Mike Garcia came from 126, I think. 126, 130, 135, 140, 147. I ain't trying to hear that shit. Tonight, Spitz, I feel like it's going to handle his business against Terrence Crawford. Who is the smaller man? You know what I'm saying? This is going to be a good fight. It's going to be a tough fight. All right? Ain't nobody saying that it's going to be easy. It's going to be a tough fight. Don't be shocked if it's one-sided, though, because it's a lot of talking. One thing about El Spitz, he listens to that shit. He listens to it, and he just channels it in his training. That's all he do. He lie back, and he trains his ass off which is what he's doing right now. I'm telling you, don't be shocked if this fight is one-sided. Don't be shocked. But I do believe this fight going to get made. I told y'all this fight was going to get made. I told y'all I was going to promote the hell out of this fight. And this is going to be one for the ages. You know what I mean? I already, those who watch my channel, know who I'm rocking with and know who I'm picking to win this fight is going to be El Spence. I think El Spence is going to win by stoppage and the reason why I think he's going to win by stoppage is because uh, Terrence Crawford is going to get in his own way. What I mean by that is Terrence Crawford is going to get hit by something hard and he's going to want to prove that he's the bigger he's, he want, he going he gonna to want to get his lick back. Let's fucking say that. He gonna want to get his lick back, and he gonna get caught with some shit, and then that's gonna be it. What I mean by that's gonna be it, his head gonna be ringing, 
He's gonna be seeing double. Errol Spence gonna start tearing his ass up, and the ref gonna step in on Bowman gonna throw the towel. In. That's all I'm saying. That's that's what it is, right? I do think it's gonna be a very strategic and tactical fight by both of them. I don't think it's gonna be a war, but I do think that once Errol catch him with some shit, Bud gonna wanna get his lick back. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Uh, we getting a treat. I keep saying this in every video. We getting a treat, man. We getting a treat. Like, comment, and subscribe. I don't want for no smoke. Boss gone.